A COVID variant from South Africa that doctors have been keeping a close eye on has now showed up in the United States. Two cases in South Carolina and health officials say there was no known travel history or connection between the two of them. Sharon Bajena joining us live now with an update on what this means for the rest of us. Good evening, Sharon. Good evening, Jessup. Yeah, area doctors tell me finding cases of these new variants are concerning because it means more are spreading. Now, the variants from the UK, Brazil and South Africa are all in the US and they're also more contagious. The South African variant as well as the Brazilian variant both have the added problem uh, of being better at evading the immune system, especially in people who've been infected before. Area doctors know the new COVID-19 variants infect people more easily, but how widespread are these variants now in the U.S.? We don't know. Probably if we're finding it in one person, it's in more than one person because not everybody who tests positive for COVID has their virus sequence to figure out if it's one of these variants. The World Health Organization says the lab studies on effectiveness of the vaccine on new variants involve using blood of a person who's been vaccinated. In that blood, of course, are the antibodies that were induced by the vaccine that that is tested against these variants. Doctors say vaccines should still work well to fight the new variants, but not as effectively. Pfizer and Moderna have started looking into the variants. All of the studies so far are showing that the amount of antibody um, that is normally produced um, by the vaccines is still above the level that would um, manage to, to protect. The good news, Pfizer and Moderna vaccines are both mRNA vaccines, which experts say makes it easier to make changes to them if needed. We can quickly make those changes and roll them out in the vaccine. That's been more difficult in the influenza vaccine where we have to grow the vaccines in eggs. Dr. Bernard says changes in the vaccines shouldn't be needed now with the three new variants, but it could be in the future. She says Moderna is already putting in work with the South Africa variants in order to be ready. Reporting live in Wauwatosa, Sharon Bajenda, CBS 58 News.